thanks to the excesses of the hashtag MeToo movement, sexual encounters have morphed into an episode of South Park. In the midst of an otherwise romantic night, gals, you might be asked to create a so-called consent video so your understandably petrified partner can cover his behind against any future false accusation leveled against him. A consent video is exactly what it sounds like, a woman telling a camera lens that she is fully in board with having sex with so-and-so once the record button is turned off and they say romance is dead. According to a recent article from the Evening Standard, Consent videos are becoming a popular trend in the world of hookups. Writer Rachel King recalled a recent night she spent with a man she knew fairly well at his London flat. At around 3.30 a.m., while she sat astride him, the man grabbed his phone and asked her to make a consent video. Could you really quickly just say that you want to have sex with me? He said, holding the phone out, wide-eyed and earnest, his voice notes up open as if he was poised for some kind of chatty red carpet interview. What? I said, blinking. Could you just say that you consent to having sex with me? Another woman known as Poppy, a friend of a friend of King's, had a similar experience with a semi-famous male. When they arrived in his room, Mr. Lowkey Famous explained that his contract was very strict and she would need to record a video of herself giving consent. He asked her to state her full name, that she was there of her own accord and that she consented to having sex with him. To be honest, it made me feel a bit like a smash and dash says Poppy. She is, however, clear that apart from that, this the guy was lovely. He wasn't pushy about it at all. It was something I wanted to do, and when I spoke to him about it afterwards, he was so nice about it. Legally, a consent video would not necessarily give a man blanket coverage cornering an accusation of sexual misconduct, since certain sex acts might not be covered in the consent video and consent can be withdrawn at any time. Post-consent video included. Consent is ongoing and can be withdrawn at any time. Therefore, a video may record consent but the situation may then change and consent is withdrawn. Durham University Law Professor Claire McGlynn told Refinery29. A consent video, though, would be viewed as a piece of evidence, legal experts told the outlet. But aside from the legal aspects, Feminists are not pleased with the idea of consent videos and their problematic ramifications. In the case with Poppy, King complains that the implication of a consent video is that those in a position of power are the ones who need protection, and that's just not true. King, who mocked that it's apparently a scary time for young men, also emphasized that false accusations just don't happen, pointing to a popularized hashtag on Twitter as evidence. In reality, the vitriol that victims of rape and sexual assault are subject to is enough to put anyone off making a false report. If you don't believe me, check out the hashtag YIDIDNT report tag on Twitter, she wrote. So what's the easiest way not to need that consent recording? King posed, before offering her brilliant solution, just don't rape someone. Katie Russell, a spokesperson for Rape Crisis, said the concept of consent videos is deeply troubling and perpetuates the lie that most reports of sexual assault are false. Of course, if the hookup culture were bypassed entirely and sex was not treated as a strictly physical act void of all meaning and feeling, which it's not. That's why all this consent stuff is so blurry and fuzzy, then consent videos wouldn't have to be a norm.